Hello, I'm Marco from Germany and today I will talk about the topic What is peace for you and what can we do for world peace? This is part of the project Unity of the Elabuga Institute of the Kazan Federal University, KFU. I also made a German video about the same topic which will be on my channel but uh, this is for those people who don't necessarily want to learn German but are interested in my opinion about world peace. Thank you for watching and um, I think that in order to make uh, wars a thing of the past we have to make wars unthinkable, right? We have to raise children that grow up to be very non-violent people, right? We have to raise children that will grow up to be very empathic and very um, non-violent, very peaceful and all that uh, great stuff, yeah? Um, I think that's where it starts. Yeah, that's only my opinion, but I think that's where it starts. And um, I can recommend a book that's called The Origins of War in Child Abuse by Lloyd de Moss. And uh, that book and ebook is available for free on the internet. I highly recommend it, even though it's a very difficult read. Um, and so um, I think for most people, um, war is already unthinkable. I mean, if you're watching this, if you're interested in world peace, chances are you're a fairly non-violent person yourself and you understand that war is bad, right? And um, people have even found out that for 90% of people, it's impossible to kill another person. Right? I mean, they had soldiers fighting at, uh, soldiers shooting at targets and they had fairly good accuracy. Right? They, they could hit their targets. But when those same soldiers were on the battlefield, right? when the same soldiers who had very good accuracy at target practice were in the battlefield, all of a sudden they, they couldn't shoot. They couldn't do it. And that is because war is alien to most people, like murdering people is, is so, um, they, they cannot do it psychologically, right? Most soldiers, even though they, they can, in theory, hit a target, they do this, they're, they're just, they shoot like above and just like, ah, um, because they cannot, they cannot pull the trigger, right? On, on another person, right? Um, so they mostly shoot in the air. And that is very good news. Right, um, but unfortunately, we still have um, part of the population that is raised violently and that is raised with little love, with little empathy. And of course, those people have a lot of anger, have a lot of um, aggression, and uh, they want to kill people. Right. So I think if we want to prevent wars, right, we have to advocate peaceful parenting. Right? That's something uh, I recommend uh, typing into Google, peaceful parenting. It's a very interesting concept. And um, yes, and by raising people, uh, by raising children peacefully and by treating them with the same respect as we would treat an adult, right? they grow up to be very balanced, very happy, very non-violent adults. Right? And um, a lot of people are emotionally blind, okay? They cannot even recognize um, the problems that we face as a soci society uh, with regards to child abuse because most people see some things not as child abuse, right? Um, for example, yelling and uh, spanking and uh, grabbing very forcefully. These are all parts of child abuse, but a lot of people are emotionally blind to it. So 
if you want to learn more about that, I recommend uh, looking at uh, how emotional blindness is created. 21 points by Alice Miller. That's an article or like a 21 point list of hers. And that's very, that's very enlightening, right? The, the points she brings forward are very, very insightful. Okay. Um, and the third thing I think we can do is uh, to stop looking for politicians and the state to solve our problems. We have to think about how we can solve our own societal problems. Like we as humans, like you and me, right? Without the government, without politicians, right? Because um, governments are responsible for over 185 million deaths in the 20th, 20th century alone, okay? That number is quite high, right? I mean, this is, this is the destruction that war and democide brings. And yes, so uh, I think we have to also be peaceful in that arena of our lives. Okay? And I think that will go a long way to prevent wars in the future if we take away power from the government and give it to ourselves by being independent and by helping more people be independent and uh, solving the problems of society ourselves independently from any government. Okay? Thank you for watching. It's been longer than two minutes. Um, so I'll appreci I appreciate it very, very much that you watched it. And like I said, I'm usually a German teacher. So most of my videos are in German, but I wanted to do this for those of you who um, find this video somewhere else and are not particularly interested in learning German. So thank you for watching. Um, I appreciate it very much. And um, I'm looking forward to your opinion in the comments. Please leave me a comment and tell me what you think about um, this and what do you think about uh, world peace in general and how we can achieve it. Or better yet, um, participate in the project Unity and make a video of your own. Right? You can make a video of your own. I leave you the description of the project in the video description. Okay? Stay curious, stay tolerant, stay nonviolent. Thank you for watching. Bye.